Good morning, everybody. Happy, what is it, Monday. All right, April 30th, 2018, 827 a.m. These are current temperatures. You can see the central area of the country is having a little bit of a heat wave, which is going to make its way to the northeast. Uh, I believe after today, we're going to be up somewhere in the 80s. Um, some areas in Boston, even reaching uh, Massachusetts, even ma uh, matching 90-degree weather. Uh, which is pretty rare for this time of year. We're going to have two or three days of that. But first, we're going to be dealing with a pretty significant central U.S. storm. And we're going to look at that on Tropical Tidbits here. Uh, we're going to go through the different days. Monday through Wednesday is going to be pretty significant. We have, um, it's the U.S. central areas we have to worry about Monday through Wednesday. Um, ahead of the storm, 50 to 60 mile per hour gusts. Um, that's going to be enhancing wildfires in Arizona to Texas up into Minnesota. So down in this area is going to be really windy. You can see the low pressure system right here. There's some snow behind it um, in Utah and Colorado. Those are higher elevation situations. Now we're going to move forward here in time into May 1st, which would be tomorrow. You can see that low pressure starts moving over uh, the Dakotas. Let me back up a little bit here. Uh, the Dakotas are probably going to be getting hit. Uh, after Wyoming, Montana, we got North Dakota, South Dakota, so we're talking overnight tonight into May 1st. So early morning is when South Dakota and the bottom areas of North Dakota need to be on alert for this weather. This is tornado producing even this far north, believe it or not. Um, as we move into May 2nd, you can see that strip all the way from mid-California, stretching through Nevada. We got Utah in there, Colorado, and then Wyoming up in this corner. Then we get into Nebraska, Iowa, and then Minnesota is going to have a big rain situation. And we have a little bit of yellow going on in Wisconsin. I don't know if the tornadoes are going to get up in this area. They may stay near the Dakotas and then south, and then they would bow up again into the Ohio River Valley. Uh, but that's not going to be until we get into the third and the fourth is when this all really comes together. Centralized low pressure is going to be right around Kansas. It's going to pass over Colorado. You can see the snow bands there. And by Thursday, May 3rd, we have this band reaching all the way up to the northeast. We have another low pressure system up way north of Nova Scotia in Canada. And these two are going to play off each other. This strip of moisture is coming up from the Gulf. There's parts of it coming through the Baja. And then it's going to start pulling moisture up from the, uh, the Caribbean and the Bahamas down in this area. So we have three points of moisture being pulled in by two different lows, which is why this is going to be a pretty big rainfall for the northeast, the central plains, Great Lakes areas, and basically Texas all the way through the Ohio River Valley up into the northeast. That's going to be uh, through Thursday. So the Monday through Wednesday is all the central U.S. areas. That includes the Dakotas, uh, the west, coast, west side of Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri, and then down through Arkansas. Louisiana is almost out of this until we get into... We're looking way off into the future now. We're talking Cinco de Mayo. We're going to have some serious weather in Texas. Uh, but by then, that low pressure is already off um, up into Canada, past Nova Scotia. Here is that uh, tropical wave we're still looking at that... Um, has the potential to become a tropical depression. I'm not sure that it's going to become a hurricane in these weathers, but um, nonetheless, something to look out for. So basically, we need to be on alert in the central areas of the U.S. all the way to the northeast. And then from Texas, we want to stretch through Oklahoma, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, up into Ohio. That's going to include Arkansas and the west sides of Tennessee and uh, Kentucky right here for tornado situations all the way from Thursday through Friday. And basically through the weekend, this weekend coming up, not much is going to change here, guys. We're going to have this rain situation going on nonstop, and it begins uh, right over north, uh, north of Colorado, makes its way over to the Great Lakes, and then we get that moisture pulled in from the Baja, the Gulf, and the Atlantic Ocean all at once. So we might be dealing with some flash flooding, especially with these temperatures coming up. We're going to have a heat wave and then a big rain event uh, to cool everything down, and then it's going to be time to mow your lawn every single week. Uh, which is a good thing. It's better than the winter storms we've been having. All right, guys, hate to cut this short. Got to get ready. Let's look at the Doppler real quick. We still got that low pressure spinning counterclockwise over the northeast right now. Some areas of New York are getting snow, believe it or not, but there you have it. There's that big storm blowing up over the Dakotas right now. Uh, wind, hail, all that stuff. And then down here is where the 50 to 60 mile an hour gusts are being recorded as this moves into Texas. You can see those storms blowing up right along the border of Texas there, way up north, and then these are going to meet 
um, over the Great Lakes and become a northeast issue uh, by Thursday and Friday. All right, we'll talk about earthquakes later on this afternoon. We had some pretty big ones overnight, and we have a big stretch moving across the U.S. Uh, even one in Morristown, Tennessee, 3.1. Uh, people definitely felt that, a few hundred people. Um, and this is just an article on the severe weather that we are expecting based on what I just talked about. Uh, tornado chances, they break down the different days and stuff like that. All right, guys, I'll talk to you all this afternoon. Hope everyone has a great morning and a happy Monday. Bye-bye. Last day of April, May 1st, tomorrow. Bye-bye.